Look at that chalky bad boy. I got this for £280 off eBay, which is a lot of money, but they are. And apparently the problem with it is that it doesn't boot up properly. But I can see that's not the only problem, because it's got this really hideous skin on it that's been put on by a three-year-old. Mmm. Lovely. I think it does also have a screen protector on it. I can see a little bubble down here, but that's a good thing, I guess. Oh, I'll worry about that if I can get it going. Let's try and power it on, see what it does. It beeps. Default boot device missing or boot failed. Insert recovery media and hit any key. Okay. Now at this point I've got to assume that the previous owner of this has already inserted recovery media and hit any key and that it obviously still didn't work. So in my expert opinion, I suspect it's probably the SSD drive, SSD, the, the hard drive thing that's failed. SSD. But I don't know for definite, so let's turn it off. And the, the annoying... Start again. The other annoying thing about it is that it has a screw missing. So it's obviously been apart before. The screw missing from here. I think all the others are there. And it does have some pry marks sort of around the case. So it's definitely been apart before. So I have no idea what to expect inside this. It did come with a carry case. So I'm going to use that to protect it while I open it up. And then we'll see if we can work out what's going on. Sells a deck with no SSD I classic eBay buy Don't get no guarantee Still we got fixes that connect to be Dangly free while we watch LPS That shot to the HSG Dr. Blitz says Wizard Dr. Funkenstein RBE Jam Max Tango 22 Diamond Stone is T Everything so far has a rhyme to a degree Need to mix it up or there'll be no more scene Ben Rush, John Boucher, Sean Day Titter Let's give Keisha a chance like Arnold J. Rimmer Tangle Burr, A1 Bay, Shaky, Matwitch Western, a Western which is which? McAdams, Badger, Squatch, Kenneth Terry We're standing like buffaloes with Nina Cherry McGibbles, Flux, Animal Tin Man Lee Green, a Boltalot, Oz Mutant Solid Stock, Kip, Hakes, Nid, Huega Getting up in the morning like Desmond Decker Old Man East, Andrew Fascio, Inflim Infinity, Daft Willy, Jonathan Harden Adam Taylor, Viroki, Sarakat All the birds are singing, it's Postman Pat Jonathan Wiggs, Mark of its 90 Monkey Joe, Tokyo to finish, that's clean Peace Right, well, somebody's definitely been in here before because you can see that the sticker here, the tape or whatever it is, has been punctured to get to that screw. Not quite sure what that does, but let's have a look. And this shielding is a little bit bent as well here, which is not great. For anybody wondering, I use the iFixit guide, uh, teardown guide, to get into this thing. It sort of helps you know where to put the pick to get the right sort of leverage on it. It's really quite useful. I'll put a link to it in the description or something. Right. I think I see the problem. Unless I've got a different version to everybody else, there is no SSD in this. It's supposed to be there, isn't it? Well, that will explain why it won't boot. Why would you do that? Why would you sell it without the SSD in it? Hmm. Something else must have gone wrong. And they've taken the SSD out. I don't know, so I don't have access to the data or something? I don't know. That's really quite irritating. Also, we've got something that isn't connected here. Oh. Oh, wait. <sighs> if that's what I think it is... That's exactly what had happened on Tronics Fixes, one that he's just done fairly recently. Well, at least he left me the screw for the SSD. Right, we're going to have to put this under the microscope, I think, because I think this connector has been ripped off the board. I don't know what it is. I think it was the speaker. But it had sound. Oh, maybe it's just one of the speakers. I don't know. Right, I'm, I'm annoyed. 
as annoyed as I get, but I am annoyed. Okay, that's where the SSD is supposed to be, and it doesn't have one. It still has the screw, but then, yep, great. This connector has just been ripped off the board. Luckily, it looks like only this trace has been damaged. Those three still look intact, and... Oh, I don't know about that. Is that is that still got part of the connector in it? I think it has. Uh, maybe I can rescue that. Well, I think I'll have to come back to that, because if this thing doesn't work, then there's going to be no point in me trying to fix that. I'm going to have to see if I've got one of these little SSDs. Luckily, I think I might have. Is it a 2230? I'll go and have a look. Luckily, I do have one. This is a 256 gigabyte version. It's a 2230 SSD, which according to iFixit is the right size. If I was going to do this, I would probably choose to put a larger one in, but this is the only one I've got. It should be enough to put the operating system on and see if this thing actually works. So let's do that. The other annoying thing about this is, again on the teardown guide, the one that's in there has got a like a shield around it, like a little aluminium or aluminium sheath that this thing sits in, which I, I don't know whether it's f for heat property, I don't know whether it's for interference, but it looks important and I'm obviously not going to have that, so I might have to try and make one. I don't know what I'm going to make it out of. Right, well, luckily that is the right size. Now I need to go and Google how to put the operating system on this thing, because I have literally no idea. The OS here. Don't worry, I'm not going to sing or anything like that. It's actually quite straightforward. You just need to download the Steam OS image file. Link is in the description. And then you need to burn it using a program like Etcher or Rufus. I'm using Etcher here because I enjoy it or something. It did take me quite a long time. It was about 50 minutes in total. But I think that's probably because my flash drive was a bit old and a bit rubbish. So maybe if you had a USB 3 flash drive, it might be quicker. Don't know. Don't care. Anyway, back to the video. Okay, I've got my image on this flash drive. I'm just going to rest the case like that. Now let's see if we can do this. I've got a USB-C to USB-A adapter. And obviously they never go in the first time you do it. You always have to do it at least twice. Or in my case, three times. Okay, now I believe you hold down the the volume down button and the power button until it beeps. Mm, that beeped. Do I let go? Hello? I don't think it's working. Maybe I didn't do it right. Let's try again. Volume down. Power. It definitely beeps. Do I have to hold it a bit longer? There we go. Oh. Um... Okay, one more time. Volume down. Power. Beep. Screen. Gone off. Ooh, I don't think this is going to work. Let's just try turning it on without pressing the volume down. Oh, that looks more promising. Doesn't appear to be doing a great deal, though. Right, this isn't working. I don't, I, I don't know what to do. It's like frozen at the screen now, but it's not doing anything. And it's been a good 10 minutes. I'm going to take that out and just see if we get the error message that we got before. Right, we do. Default boot device missing or boot fail. Insert recovery media. Right, well, let's try it that way. There's a recovery media. Okay. Ah, okay. Right. What do I do? Boot manager? Yes. Right, it's there. Oh, maybe it was doing something then, because that's the screen that was up before. This is where you've got to have a little patience. Here we go. What's this? Clear local user data. Re-image Steam Deck. Reinstall Steam OS. Terminal with repair tools. I think it said to choose re-image Steam Deck, because that does like a factory reset. So let's do that. 
How do I choose it? I'll, I'll wait a little, bit, a little bit longer. Oh. Aha. Right. This action will re-image the Steam Deck. This will permanently destroy all data on your Steam Deck. Oh no! And reinstall Steam OS. This cannot be undone. Choose Proceed. Proceed. It's doing stuff. I've got a feeling this may take a while. Screenies are clean. Oh, this is looking good. Yes! Well, let's see if I can get this thing set up. Nice. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Excellent. Well, I'll have a play around with it, make sure it works. But I still have to do a couple of things, don't I? I need to try and repair that connector that's been ripped off the board. And I also need to prepare some kind of sheath for the SSD. I don't know how important it is, but it it's supposed to have one, so I'm guessing I should probably do that as well. Right, well, that seems to work. Let's power it off. Uh, shut down. Yes, I'm sure. Excellent. Let's do the sheath first. Now, my idea for this is to use some aluminum tape. It looks like it will... I might have to do two strips of it. It looks like it will go around it. And also, if I leave the backing on it, it shouldn't be shorting anything out. And it will be quite similar, I think, to the original one. Let's give it a go. Okay, I, I, I think that's going to work. I don't think that looks that dissimilar to, to the original one. And it shouldn't be shorting anything out because it's got the backing on. Yeah, all right, I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave it out because I need to fix this connector here. In fact, I should really connect, disconnect the battery, shouldn't I? So let's do that. There we go. Right. Let's get this back under the microscope. All right, okay. Well, I mean, it doesn't look massively damaged, does it? Maybe a little bit of this side. I wonder whether I can just slide this back on, resolder the three pins that are there, and then do a little bit of trace repair on this side. I mean, the, the trace is still there. It's still attached. Let's see if we can get it back on. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do this. I might have to take, take these out and try and fit them back into the connector somehow. Let's see what I can do with those. Probably not a lot. It doesn't help, I don't know how they're supposed to go in. It just pinged across the room. I think I have to do this without those mounting points. I can't really work out how they go back in. Which is a shame. Alright, let's try and solve it back on the board and we'll see how solid it is. Sorry. Solid. <laughs> it is. I'm just going to add some leaded solder and try and tidy this up a bit. Ah, 
Wow, this is really hard. Going where they need to go on continuity. That pin there goes to there, and it isn't shorted to there. That one to there, and isn't shorted. That one to there, and isn't shorted. And then that one needs to come out, I believe, where it looks like it would go to the end of that capacitor, doesn't it? So we're on a little tiny wire from there to there. That's going to be fun. Uh, this is 0.1mm wire. Let's see if I can get it on the end of that capacitor. Oh no. The capacitor came off. Oh, don't lose it. <laughs> I, I can't. I explained to you how difficult this is and how tiny this is, but I'm not doing very well here. Let's put it that way. Is the capacitor back on? I believe it is. All right, let's try again. See if that is connected. <laughs> Miraculously, yes, it is. Well, it looks a bit of a mess, but it should hopefully be functional. I think we need to put some solder mask on and try and secure the, the port down as well as the wire. So let's do that. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty solid. I think that'll do the job. Maybe. Well, I suppose the ultimate test is Putting the connector in and see if it falls off. We're in. And I think... I think it's going to be okay. I mean, what I will say at this point is, I'm not going to be selling this. It's going to be for me. So as long as it works, I'm not really bothered. I'm not planning on dropping it. I mean, I might drop it, but I'm not planning on dropping it. I think I'm going to put it back together and see if both the speakers are working. I also need to pop the SSD back in, so we'll do that now with my makeshift sheath. That was good. I'm guessing what happened is the previous owner went to change the SSD, took the old one out, damaged this connector, and thought, I know, I'll cut my losses, steal the SSD, and put it on eBay for some chump to buy. I'm the chump. I think I'm going to try and replace this. I mean, I don't know what it does, if I'm being perfectly honest, but I'm guessing it's there for a reason, so... And all it is is a bit of aluminum tape. Uh, I'm just going to cut a little square out of this and stick it on. There we go. Good as new.
Wow, how much better does that look? As if it works. Nice. I think the speaker's working. Okay, let's cover up this speaker. That's the left speaker. Cover up this speaker. And there's the right speaker. So they are both working. Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformers. Very loud. I hope you can hear me over this. Go! I don't know why any of the buttons do. You can probably tell I've not played this before. Nice. This is the first time I've played on one of these, and I've got to be honest, I think it's pretty awesome. Fifth. I quite like the game, it's a stupid game, stupid game. No, I do quite like it. My heart is numb, has no feeling So while I'm still healing Just try And have a little patience Just have a little patience